Good morning, guys. At least I hope it's a good morning for you. <laughs> Carly woke me up at 2.30 in the morning last night puking. She was up until about four in the morning, and I'm pretty sure she has a stomach virus because, you know, she's not feeling good and throwing up. So this morning, I called her pediatrician. I asked if he wanted me to bring her into the hospital to be admitted and monitored because of her genetic disorder. If her sugar drops too low, I'd have to take her in anyway. And he told me that he just wants me to bring her in. So we are spending the day pretty much at the hospital. <laughs> Kenley just threw up too. She had some banana for breakfast and that all came up. So they might have to admit her or monitor her too. I don't know. We'll just have to see when we get there. Here we are. Yes, you hurt your chin because you fell down. Did it hurt? I'm so sorry. We're just a waiting. Aren't we just waiting? She's not amused. Sissy. Yeah, that's Sissy. So we're home now from the hospital. I'm really aggravated because I called and I was told, they're all really sleepy, I'm sorry. Uh, but I called and I was told that they wanted uh, to keep the girls to monitor them to make sure their sugar doesn't drop too low. And I get there and they didn't do any of that. All they did was give me basic advice on how to handle a stomach virus and sit me home. So I'm aggravated because I feel like I took a pointless trip and I made the girls some chicken noodle soup but none of them want to eat it. Uh, they're both really, really tired because we were at the hospital from like two o'clock and we got home around 5.30. That's like right in the middle of their nap. So they're exhausted, poor kids. Poor Kenley's laying on the, on the floor and Carly over there is passed out on the couch. Carly! You have to wake up, baby, okay? It's only 7 o'clock. You can't go to bed this early. <laughs> Carly, honey. Can you just wait one more hour? And you can go to bed at 8 o'clock, I promise. Seven's just a little bit too early. Don't, don't fall asleep. So, yeah, that's basically our day. Our day has been completely jacked up. Because the pediatrician told me he was going to do one thing, and he did a total opposite. My poor kids. She just wanted mommy. Well, you were fine five seconds ago. Do you want to take a bath? Will that make it all better? Will a bath make it better? What do you think, Carly? Will a bath make it better? Would you like a bath? She just wants to sleep. She's mad and grumpy. So the girls are just taking a bath. Hi. And then right after this, we're gonna go to bed because they are very, very yes. tired. Yes, you're very tired. It's been a very long, tiring day. So I just laid the girls down. It's about 7.45. They got really cranky about halfway through their bath and just wanted to go to sleep. So I laid them down because they had a really, gosh, can't talk. They had a really rough night last night and then they skipped their nap today because we were at the hospital. So I just put them down. And today just didn't go as planned at all. I didn't plan for Carly to get sick, and <laughs> I really had other vlogs that I wanted to film today, but it's okay. Um, I'm kind of bummed that this isn't a very long video, but it's at least something, and hopefully the rest of the week will be much better, and the girls won't be sick during Christmas. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you guys tomorrow in a new vlog. Bye, guys.